Welcome to Skinny TV or YouTube once again. Let's see the latest news coming in from the camp of Ghana. Black Stars players. One informed player that we can talk about is Joseph Pinto. Joseph Pinto. This player, I tell you today, he has scored yet another goal. And now he has 10 goals this season with 10 assists in the Belgium Pro League. And um well many questions will be asked why didn't he go to the world cup a lot of questions has to be answered let's talk about him in this video then we also talk about joseph edu yes two josephs joseph edu also scored a goal yesterday for his club size south Vigo in the spanish premier la liga we will also talk about him in this video you know guys sometimes you have to bear with us because of copyright issues and um, we can actually get copyright strikes and the channel will not be existing again so sometimes we need to play save a little and try to hide the highlights so you have to bear with us but hey let's talk about our lovely players i'll also try and be pinning down there some of the links for you to enjoy the highlight from these fantastic players so joseph pinto if you look at his numbers you'll be asking yourself why is he not getting on into this black stars of ghana's team for a while now and i think the next coach for the black stars of ghana will really really consider him because he is one of the best black stars players if not the best because he's doing well kudos is doing well party is doing well and i think you can't just skip this boy today he played for um his club side KLC gang today's match was a very tough one for joseph pinto but he tried to also score a goal in this particular fixture it was klc or kaa gent versus klc gank so um gank is actually leading the table already and they played against one of the toughest side in belgium pro league kaa gent and the game ended three goals to two for the away side that you say pencils team klc gank and the first goal was scored by hunsu Kwon for the home side k gent then joseph pinto on the 23rd minute equalized for them he prepared them to win the match of course he scored and i'm um, just on the 67th minute um yira calling saw also scored a second goal for the away side then tolu arokodari scored the third goal for the away side then lawrence um the poetry scored the second consolation goal for the home side jose pinto he got the highest rating in the game for his club side after playing um he was actually substituted on his fourth minute when the coach wanted to protect the goal after playing 84 minutes he scored one goal he did not assist he had 46 touches in the game and also gave one key pass as well four crosses in the game for him one was successful long boss he sent in one which was successful of course shot on target was one shot off target was one dribble attempt were four of it two were successful 50 percent ground was he went in for eight and won six of them error was he went in for one did not win possession loss were 18 he had two um fouls or he was fouled twice he made one clearance and also made two tackles so he got a rating of 7.6 and he is really really doing well now let's talk about another Ghanaian player so um yes joseph edu joseph edu he plays for Salta Vigo in the Spanish La Liga. And um, in the La Liga Santander, yesterday it was Real Betis versus Salta Vigo. It was a tough, tough game as Salta Vigo went away to pick all the three points. And one Black Stars defender, Joseph Edu, he has also not getting opportunities to be playing for the Black Stars of Ghana. Even though he has been caught and he was part of Ghana's squad that actually went to the World Cup. He played 90 minutes and scored one goal to help his club side getting seven clearances for himself he also made one interception touches were 46 in the game for him he gave 26 passes and the accuracy was 78.8 percent for him he had three long balls of which one was accurate ground was he went in for two did not win any area was he went in for two and won one possession loss were 10 he had one shot on target where he scored then he attempted one dribble which wasn't successful he got a rating of 6.7 for Salta Vigo. Yesterday, the game was a very eventful one. Yes, because we had seven goals in the game. And as a defender, getting 6.7 means that, yes, they considered three goals. But at least his performance was quite okay. Strand Larson scored the first goal for the wayside Salta Vigo. Before Juan Mi equalized for the home side, Rebertis. Then Sergio Canales scored for Rebertis. Then Gabriel Viega scored 
their second goal for the away side. Gabriel Viega again scored a third goal for the away side. Then the fourth goal was scored by Joseph Edu on the 69th minute before the home side pulled another one back through Nabel Fekiel in a penalty on the 84th minute. So these are the performance of some Ghanaian players across Europe. I'll be bringing you more and other players that I haven't actually brought up. Those who weren't able to play, like the likes of um, you know, Elisha Usu and the others, I also bring it to you on this channel. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.